Today we are going to discuss diseases of red gram. Red gram is otherwise called as PGNP. So, uh, scientific name of red gram is Cajanus Cajan. My name is NH Shankar Reddy and I am doing PhD in Plant Pathology in Anamal University. These are all the list of uh, important diseases in uh, red gram. Phytophthora blight or stem blight which is caused by Phytophthora dressalere, form of species Cajani. Pygon P wilt or uh, PGNP Fusarium wilt which is caused by Fusarium woodum and dry root rot which is caused by macrophomina fasciola and new name is Rhizoctonia petaticola and powdery mildew levulula tarica and cercospora leaf spot caused by cercospora indica, cercospora cazenia, cercospora thrimula chari and alternaria leaf blade which is caused by alternary alternator rust which is caused by urodo cajani or uromyces dolici and botrytis grey blight which is caused by botrytis cinerea and PGNP sterility mosaic which is caused by PGNP sterility mosaic virus and yellow mosaic which is caused by red gram mosaic virus so now we will see in detail about one by one so the first one is pytophthora blight or stem blight which is caused by pytophthora dressalieri pharma species kazani so the name itself indicate pytophthora blight or stem blight so mostly the symptoms can be seen on stem that's why it's named as the stem blight so if you see this uh, uh, you know uh, picture in uh, uh, field we can see uh, the leaves wilting of leaves can be mainly observed and if we magnify and if we see water soaked lesions can be seen on the leaves and as well as uh, uh, sunken necrotic lesions can be seen on stems we can see here in the stem region sunken necrotic spots can be seen in, in leaves water soaked lesions can be seen and that can affect mainly affect in the stem regions and the branches as well as due to that the branches become weak and uh, uh, they will easily brittle and i mean break down and uh, a sudden wilting of uh, plants can also be uh, observed in this uh, pite of the blight or stem blight so this pathogen produces juice spores as uh, sexual spores and as well as parangian juice spores as asexual spores coming to the management aspects select field with uh, no previous record of blight uh, and uh, along with uh, avoid fields with low lying patches or prone uh, water logging so avoid fields of water logging areas and uh, Raised beds for good uh, good drainage can be recommended along with seed treatment with metal oxal at the rate of 6 gram per kilogram of seeds and foliar application of metal oxal at the rate of 500 gram uh, uh, per hectare or metal oxal or mango zip combination 1 kilogram per hectare can be recommended. So uh, next one is a PGNP Fusarium wilt or uh, uh, which is caused by Fusarium woodum on the right we can see uh, you know uh, in uh, the field is completely wilting symptom of field can be seen almost half field can be wilted here so yellowing of leaves can be clearly observed here so uh, it also produce uh, less quality of uh, flowering and as well as podding and less poor formation of uh, uh, podding and as well as uh, uh, flowering and partial wilting and sometimes leads to full wilting I mean a complete wilting so dieback symptoms can be seen clearly observed here dieback symptoms as uh, uh, it, it will be very common that if you uh, see the fusarium infected uh, uh, plants if you cut open the stem uh, or if, if you split open the stem we can see this uh, uh, you know marginal discolorations or brown color discolorations inside the uh, stem and uh, so browning and blackening of xylem vessels we can see here browning and blackening of xylem vessels when we split open and we can see the, this is about pgnp uh, fusarium wilt so coming to the pathogen so pathogen produce three types of spores uh, that is a microquinidia, macroquinidia and clamidospores. So microquinidia produce uh, one septation or zero septations if we see the uh, quinidia. Whereas macroquinidia consist of three to five septations can be seen. Whereas in clamidospores there is no septations can be seen. It is a completely resting structure that can survive in soil. So coming to the mode of spread, the infected stubbles, clamidospores, irrigation water and implements uh, uh, helpful in uh, transmitting this pathogen. So coming to the management aspect, select the field of uh, uh, fields that previous uh, no there is no previous record of wilt from past three years and then uh, use of disease free seeds and uh, growing uh, pgnp intercropped with sorghum along with the crop rotation of sorghum tobacco combo and castor and the removing of wilted plants also uh, one of the management aspects along with the soil solarization and uh, and the uh, seed treatment with the trichoderma viride as well as pseudomonas fluorescence and collecting the burning of plant uh, uh, residues or unwanted plant materials can be collected and burned in uh, harvested field itself and green manuring or compost application at the rate of 12.5 tonnes per hectare can be recommended. Then the third one is dry root rot which is caused by macrophomina fasciola and the new name is Rhizoctonia butterticola and the coming to the uh, symptoms you can clearly see so young seedlings will die and uh, you know grown up plants also this, this is can be observed in almost all growth stages of uh, crop plants 
and mainly uh, you know dry root rot name itself indicates a uh, drying and uh, rotting of roots and uh, as well as uh, upper stem region i mean sorry lower stem region and uh, if you see in upper uh, you know uh, in leaf regions drooping of leaves can be seen um, along with yellowing uh, and premature defoliation can be also be observed and if we cut open this uh, stem or if we cut open this uh, root regions so black color discoloration and the complete death of roots can be we can clearly observe that and we can also observe that the minus black color sclerotia that is the uh, characteristic feature of a, you know of a, a dry root rot that produce uh, uh, resting spores uh, as i mean sclerotia that can survive in soil for many years so coming to the management aspects uh, select the fields with no previous record of dry root rot as well as uh, uh, you know uh, 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 along with a farmyard application, application of farmyard manure as well as green leaf manure, especially uh, glycerida at the rate of 10 tons per hectare, along with the neem cake application combined uh, with the neem cake, that is 250 kilograms per hectare, along with the zinc sulfate 25 kilograms per hectare can be recommended. And the seed treatment with 4 grams of trichoderma viride or 10 grams of pseudomonas fluorescens per kilogram uh, can be recommended, along with the application of uh, uh, you know uh, trichoderma viride or pseudomonas fluorescens uh, at the rate of 2.5 kilograms, along with the I mean uh, farmyard manure. 50 kilograms per hectare and the seed treatment with carbondism can also uh, give us a relief at the rate of 2.2 uh, grams per kilogram of seeds so the next one is powdery mildew which is caused by levulula tarica on the right side we can clearly see powdery growth white color powdery growth can be clearly seen on the lower surface of leaf on the lower surface of leaf white color powdery growth or powdery patches can be clearly seen and if we and, and later stages if you if you you know if you see the upper surface if we see the upper surface we can see sclerotic spots can be seen yellowing of leaves also can be uh, very commonly seen and you know uh, severe infection results in defoliation of leaves where the uh, leaves can be uh, detached and they can fall down from the leaf sorry plant so coming to the management aspects uh, selected fields you know uh, select the fields away from the perennial crop the uh, for wilt disease i mean uh, Uh, uh the selecting field should be away from the uh, wilt disease or there is no previous records of wilt and spraying of wettable sulfur at the rate of 1.5 kg per hectare or carbondism at the rate of 500 g per hectare can give us uh, uh, effective control next one is cercospora leaf spot which is caused by uh, cercospora indica or cercospora kazani or cercospora thirumala chari so thirumala chari is a scientist who mainly uh, who developed anti fungal antibiotic he is a renowned scientist in uh, uh, developing the anti fungal antibiotics so coming to the symptoms we can clearly see here uh, you know uh, irregular necrotic spots can be seen on the surface of leaves especially on the upper surface we can see so later they coalesce and completely covers the leaf and it look like to blightening appearance we can see here complete blightening appear initially the spots will start slowly small amount of uh, i mean little small uh, small spots are appears later the small entire spots are coalesce and blightening complete severe blightening uh, appearance can be seen and also see the defoliation and yellowing of leaves can be seen here the seed uh, uh, should be selected of uh, good quality seeds and uh, free from uh, all the disease planting i mean disease materials or disease uh, uh inocula and uh, spraying mango seed at the rate of 1 kg per hectare or carbondism at the rate of 500 g per hectare can be recommended coming to the alternaria leaf blight which is caused by alternaria alternata in earlier uh, uh, you know uh, uh, crops also we discussed that the main symptom or the main uh, uh, if you see the character symptoms of alternaria concentric rings will be very very common and we can also see here uh, on the necrotic spots and concentric rings initial stages we can see the concentric rings and later stages if we see here and the orange color uh, uh, spots that was surrounded are you know uh, covered by yellow halo uh, sorry as uh, orange colored spots or brown colored spots with uh, uh, that was a uh, brown colored spots was uh, surrounded by you know uh, uh, out, uh, outer surrounding with uh, uh, yellow halo can be clearly seen here and the, and the blightening of the leaves also can be seen we can see we can observe here blightening of the leaves initial stages we can see this uh, you know uh you know brown color or uh, orange color uh, pustules all that was surrounded by yellow and along with the later stages blightening of leaves can be seen clearly seen so that leads to defoliation or detachment of leaves from the uh, main plant so the pathogen can survive as an infected debris and the secondary spread is mainly through airborne conidia coming to the management aspects uh, spraying of mango seed at the rate of 1 kg per hectare can be recommended so coming to the next disease rust which is caused by irudo uh, irudo kajani or irudo uh, uromyces dolichi which are the uh, uh, characteristics we can clearly see here 
in this region dark brown raised pustules can be seen in leaf dark brown raised pustules we can clearly see small small uh, if you magnify that we can see very clear and uh, it, it was uh, not much clear and uh, uh, if you see this uh, here dark brown raised pustules can be clearly seen and uh, along with uh, you know uh, if we magnify and, uh, and the formation of iridia on the lower surface can be clearly uh, seen in the later stages the leaves are the same leaves are desiccated and dropping off can be observed coming to the management aspect avoid sowing of pg and p close to beans and crop rotation with uh, uh, can also be a little bit uh, uh, relief and the spraying of mango zip 2 gram per liter of water can give effective control so coming to this botrytis gray blight which is caused by botrytis cinerea which is caused by botrytis cinerea we can on the light side we can see so these symptoms can be especially observed on uh, flowering stage and uh, so dark gray fungal growth can be seen uh, if you see dark gray fungal growth or dark color or a little bit black color fungal growth can be seen uh, especially on uh, uh, you know uh, 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 pots and the flowering uh, pots and as well as uh, uh, later stages flower drop can happen or you know uh, pod drop can happen and uh, uh, a lowing of leaves also can be observed in sometimes and sporulation of the fungus growth or the i mean the appearance of the mycelium can be clearly seen on the leaf and the spraying of chlorothalonil at the rate of 2 gram per liter of water can give effective control against this disease so coming to next one pgnp sterility mosaic virus which is uh, caused by pgnp sterility mosaic which is caused by pgnp sterility mosaic virus and if you see this it's a very 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 important because i will tell you why and if you see yellowing of leaves can be clearly seen leaves are yellow in color later that what will happen dark green mosaic patterns can be observed stunting of leaves and the plant is completely sterile it produce no pods and it produce no grains it is completely useless so in uh, you know uh, in the initial stages we can see bushy or pale green uh, appearance can be seen and it produce no flowers because as i told you that this is completely sterile plant and a stunted plant so pg and p sterility mosaic virus that was reported by an indian scientist he is lava kumar and uh, the stunting yellowing and as well as sterility can be the very common symptoms of uh, pg and p sterility mosaic virus this disease was transmitted by aerophid mite that is a species of asaria i mean asaria kajani this is asaria kajani as i told you this disease was reported by an indian scientist p lava kumar he is an indian scientist now he is working in iita indian institute of tropical agriculture nigeria i think and i had met him in uh, uh, tiruchirappalli in 2018 conference that was uh, uh, conducted by ips indian phytopathological society and we had a, a great discussion and you know um, uh and uh, discussion and i cleared a little bit doubts on the next generation sequencing and, and not only once i had uh, i had met him twice and i think in 2018 banana and as well as uh, and uh, one more uh, conference i had met him but uh, i'm not sure and uh, uh, he is an indian scientist so now and he, i think he got phd from uh, tirupati agriculture institute i mean uh, uh, in the department of plant virology initially he was working in uh, uh ikrisat uh, that is international crop research institute for semi arid tropics that was located in hyderabad uh, now he is in iit a indian institute of tropical agriculture now he is mainly working on cassava and uh, other related crops and viral diseases their management practices and diagnostic uh, 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 kit, i mean developing diagnostic kits and other things so coming to the management aspects uh, destroying the inoculum of perennial or uh, uh you know uh, rotund pgnp and uprooting of uh, infected plants in the earlier stages of the disease development and growing of resistant varieties along with the uh, application of carbopurin 3g at the rate of 1.2 kg per active ingredient per hectare can be recommended along with the spraying of monocrotopus or dicofol at the rate of 0.02% or uh, uh, phenazequin uh, at the rate of 0.1% at 45 or 60 days after sowing can be uh, gives a uh, effective control on vector so if you control vector automatically control viral disease so coming to the yellow mosaic which is caused by red drum yellow mosaic virus the name itself indicate yellow mosaic so alternate uh, yellowing and green uh, patches can be seen i mean alternate symptoms of uh, uh, yellowing alternate yellowing and greening can be seen on uh, leaves and a uh, few i mean uh, if you take a complete leaf uh, it is uh, uh, i mean uh, i mean uh, covered with uh, half green and half yellow color uh, Uh, patches with alternate green patches and alternate yellow patches can be clearly seen on uh, leaves and the uh, and then uh, later stages the infected uh, uh, you know f- uh, leaves and produce uh, uh, completely yellow and it produce very few parts uh, compared to healthy one so it is a, it is also one of the economic disease so coming to this disease was uh, transmitted by a white fly that is a species of bemisia tepesi this is bemisia tepesi that is transmitted uh, 
this disease. So coming to the management aspects, deep summer plowing along with the application of farm yard manure at the rate of 12.5 tonnes per hectare along with 2.5 kgs of trichoderma viridi and pseudomonas application can also give a little bit relief and the seed treatment with the torque based formulation that is trichoderma viridi at the rate of 4 gram per kilogram of seeds or pseudomonas fluorescence at the rate of 10 gram per kilogram of seeds can be recommended along with the fungicides like carbon disease and the theorem at the rate of 2 gram per kilogram of seeds can be also give uh, a relief from this disease and spot drenching with the uh, uh, Carbendazim 1 gram per uh, litre of water can control this root rot and wilt diseases and as well as avoiding water stress or water logging areas can be avoided for the cultivation along with the rogue out the infected plants up to 40 days so from the first day to 40 days so try to have to observe the observe the plant I mean uh, uh, field and if there is any virus infected plants will be there you have to take care of up to 40 days and remove the unwanted and rogue out the infected uh, virus infected plants that can manage the sterility mosaic virus and as well as the yellow mosaic virus so coming to questions related to ARSR net this PGNP sterility mosaic virus is transmitted by Ereophidmite as a Asaria Kajani very 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 important question and I had seen in many exams not only in net and ARS but also in a different uh, uh, I mean uh, uh, you know uh, board exams or as different types of uh, uh, university exams and normal for, for normal exams also it is a very very important question sterility PGNP sterility mosaic virus is transmitted by Iriofit might Asaria Kajan and mosaic also can be transmitted by white fly that is Bemisia tepesi and along with the causal organisms and maybe pite of the roblite also has a chance of asking and then uh, root rods uh, and um, the most important question if you see the PGNP sterility mosaic virus is very very important from this and this is about uh, red brown.